In court news, a hearing continued in Helena today on whether the man charged in connection with the death of a Broadwater County deputy should be forcibly medicated in an attempt to make him competent to stand trial. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian reports Lloyd Barris's attorneys are questioning the benefit of the treatment. On Friday, Lloyd Barris's defense team raised questions over whether involuntary medication would be an appropriate treatment for him. Barris faces five charges, including deliberate homicide by accountability, in connection with the death of Broadwater County Deputy Mason Moore in May 2017. In July, he was found unfit for trial. Doctors at Montana State Hospital diagnosed him with several mental health disorders. The state has asked that he be given antipsychotic medications to treat the conditions, but Barris has refused to take the medications. Barris's attorneys questioned the state's expert witness, a forensic psychiatrist. Dr. Alan Newman had said Thursday that Barris's medical history showed his condition had improved after he was involuntarily medicated at a California state hospital. But attorney Craig Shannon questioned how effective the treatment had been. He also said Barris had protested that medication, but it hadn't taken physical force to get him to take it. The Montana State Hospital has proposed physically holding him if necessary in this case. Shannon asked if that might worsen his condition by confirming his distrust of authorities. Barris's defense team suggested cognitive behavioral therapy would be a better treatment option. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. The hearing could continue into next week. Barris's lawyers have their own expert witness to provide testimony.